Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A while ago I saw a cool video by a guy named Bruce Yeeney and he actually showed how, make, how to make flyers with paper cups using the Magnus effect. He basically attaches two of these cups with a little bit of uh, tape and then he launches them with rubber so that they spin and they actually fly, fly quite funny. High and then they come down. Looks really cool. Let's first replicate that effect. So, put these two cups together, take a little bit of rubber, and then you wrap it around under tension and let it rip. Okay. Very cool. One of the things that we need to correct is that this thing went up straight and it really didn't go into any direction. If you want to weaponize it, it must also shoot horizontally so that we can shoot it towards an opponent or attacker. Therefore, my idea is to simply attach some weights to this, maybe some screws, maybe some steel balls, to give it a little more heft. So this is it. We put some screws into here, both sides of course, and then we taped some of these 12 mm steel balls, four per cup, to it. And now it's a lot heavier. Let's see how it flies now. That is exactly what we wanted. It flew horizontally quite nicely, still high enough, and it turned beautifully. I think this is the solution. The only thing is that this, of course, is way too small to cause some serious damage. So let's go bigger. <laughs> now that's more like it. Two 10 liter buckets. Of course, they're a lot heavier than the uh, little plastic cups, but they also have a lot more surface. Uh, in order to launch them, we will definitely need a much longer and much thicker band set. So with typical German engineering, we built this little launch pad for the buckets. Lots of Thera band and then this uh, very, very elaborate construction that allows me to draw back this. Well, if I look at it, it looks a little bit like a suicide device for vampires. <laughs> I hope it's gonna hold, otherwise it'll hurt. If this actually gets loose, then it will hit me right into the chest. That would be rather painful. But hey, as long as it's not boring. <laughs> That worked really well. I think it looked exactly like the, uh, the paper cups when they were not weighted down. And I think that is necessary to weaponize this. Now my idea is to attach some mean steak knives to the rims so that they rotate. Now imagine attackers you know, are bombarded with these things and then they come turning with sharp blades, slicing everybody into shreds. That would be cool. I bought plenty of these inexpensive steak knives on Amazon. Now we'll use hot glue to attach them to the buckets. Should not underestimate these cheap steak knives because they are really sharp. This is dangerous. They are designed to cut meat and that's exactly what they are supposed to. <laughs> so we made the buckets of death. And here it is. <laughs> Let me show you its features. As you see, we've done a super thorough job in attaching these steak knives to the buckets. We used something called hot glue. You know, it's the stuff that always is sticky but is never really doing the job right. <laughs> in any case, this is blades, 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 blades. Kind of terrible. <laughs> okay, so here we are. 
I have my safety t-shirt on, and this is our safety construction for launching the thing. And very soon I'll be stretching these eight razor sharp stake bl blades back and let go and hope, hope that it's not gonna come back to me. <laughs> Life is fun. All right, it was a lot of fun, but it broke. I think these plastic buckets are not right. But it was a terrifying image to see these blades rotating. Imagine you know, someone launches a thing like this to you. <laughs> but this needs enhancements. So why not using these? <laughs> Imagine putting tanto daggers inside here, using a huge amount of rubber, and maybe two or three people to, to, to draw it back. Do you think I should do it? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I hope you liked it because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>